Hi there folks, Kyle Fitzgerald here at the VTO Open teaching a level one workshop on frame and connection. So the concept of this workshop is that you have two partners out on the dance floor. You have the dance floor itself as well as the partner across from you. So first off, we talked about connecting to the floor itself. There were three standard principles of movement that we talked about in the class. The first rule is that my center defines my foot. Meaning that if I live in split weight in this stance, there's no purpose to any of my steps. So I need to get my center completely over a foot in order to communicate information clearly to my partner. Now to test this, I should be able to lift my non-weighted leg without compromising the position of my head. Quick example of doing it wrong would be here, lifting the head, you see that, sorry, lifting the foot that you see that the head has moved. This has indicated it is an incomplete weight transfer. From here, the second rule was that my non-weighted foot defines my direction. So if I were to step backwards with my foot being in front of me, it creates a falling action or a uh, tension in my body versus if I have my foot behind me first, it creates a platform that makes it comfortable for me to move. So repeating it, we have center defines foot, non-weighted foot defines direction. The third rule was that my weighted foot drives my center towards my non-weighted foot. So this in conjunction means that I'm not walking with my right foot when I'm stepping forward, I'm driving or pushing off the left and managing the transfer with that non-weighted foot and vice versa. Bringing these all together, we did a little bit of a drill where we went through all three of those rules. Defining the leg, test. Defining a direction, and then driving to move in that direction. Okay. The next concept talked about connecting to your partner. So we talked about the three different types of arm weight or, or weight in general. The first was dead weight. So if you have a toddler, say for example, that is 30 pounds, if that toddler wants to be picked up, they will activate their weight from which it will be easy for them for you to pick them up. If say they were sleeping, they would be dead weight. Same amount of weight, however, it would feel a lot different from when they want to be picked up. The last is resisted weight, meaning if they were in a bad mood that day and they were resisting, it would feel a lot different than the other two. So in this dance, we live with active arm weight, also called pliable frame, where I want you to think of dead weight, resisting, and then from here, activating and allowing it to move and breathe when you connect with your partner. Now this applies both to the connected side of your partner, with the actual physical connection, and the non-connected side, because if this arm is dead, it effectively shuts down that whole side of your body. So applying this to basics for leader or follower, as a follower I first define the direction, or define the leg, sorry, then the direction, then drive off of that leg to move. From here, once I've defined the leg again, I get the next foot in front of me, defining the direction, and then driving to move. And this continues through each and every one of our basics. Same thing as a leader. Moving through this, I define the leg, define the direction, and then drive off of the weighted leg to move through all of my basics. This, in conjunction with an active, pliable frame, helps create a system of relations between the leader and follower that helps finish and create the dance.